Z-grass. 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 What we have here is Warp It Out, which is my installation for the SIGGRAPH 82 Art Show. It's a video game, more or less, that allows a, a player to come up to it, get their face digitized, and then use, use real-time computer graphic processing to modify their image. Boom! God. Cut to the inside face. Uh. With Warp It Out, I'm using the universal appeal of your own face as a pretext to indulge in computer graphics more directly than you get to do with a commercial video game where you're interacting with a finished product in restricted ways. Warp It Out allowed me to place uh, a number of real-time processing software tools that I had developed for myself within an interactive context which was the way in which I most enjoyed playing with them as compared to using them in a lockdown, speed it up mode, such as they appear in some of my videotapes. As soon as the player finds a digitized version of their face that they like, they proceed to select a color map from uh, a cycling selection of 28. Then they proceed to the main menu, which has um, eight modules for constructing your picture and one to exit. This particular module, the ripple module, redraws a swath between two inputted points, and that swath is mo modulated by a sine wave. This uh, document compresses the process of Warp It Out, which is uh, by nature um, less interesting as a one-way videotape document than it is as a two-way interactive real-time experience for the player involved. The real-time computer graphic capabilities of the Datamax UV1 ZGrass graphics computer derive from video game hardware research. Uh, my personal construction of this interactive software environment is supported by ZGrass, uh, a global language for real-time animation, interactive tool development, and in particular, user evolution from basic uh, graphics programming up to uh, an elaborated context such as Warp It Out. Uh, ZGrass really makes possible an artist integrated project such as Warp It Out. The module being shown right now is Symbol Fill. As soon as the player uh, is through with their picture and chooses the Exit Game module, their screen is added to a stack of up to nine others made by previous players. That stack is then cycled as the game shill. Final touch up here. And the exit game module is chosen.